you, God. We bless you in the name of Jesus. We bless you in the name of Jesus.
for another day. We thank you, dear God, that we have an opportunity to come into your house and to worship and praise your name. Father, when we look at the situations and circumstances that we are faced with, sometimes we seek answers and there are no answers to be found. Yes, Lord Jesus. Sometimes we ask you why and God just say nothing. Amen. But it is today, God, that, that we turn from trying to seek answers. Yes, Lord. We turn from trying to figure out why things happen yes, the way Lord. they happen. Yes. And we tell you today, God, that we trust your yes. plan. Yes, Lord. Yes. We trust your will. Yes. yes, Lord. For God, we understand you don't make any mistakes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And you know exactly mm -hmm. what yes. you're doing. Yes, Lord. But we don't know why Trevon's life was taken uh, at the age of 18. We don't know. Yes, Lord. But God, you do. Yes. And Father, as I sat and, and reminisce on some of the things that she said just a few weeks ago yes, Lord. about how she was trying to find her purpose yes, Lord. and how she was trying to come into herself. And as I think back on those things, I, all that I can say, God, is everything you wanted her to do. Yes, Lord. She did it. Yes, Lord. You knew the time, you knew the day when, when her card would be plucked. Yes, Lord. So, Father, now, after, now that we are dealing with this situation, I pray that you would hold her mother yes, Lord. in the heart of your hand. Yes, Lord. Hold her father in the heart of your hand. Yes, Lord. Those two little sisters that she had, hold them in the heart of your hand. Yes, Lord. God, comfort them like only you can. Yes, Lord. God, after the funeral is over and after everyone goes back home, God, you know the void that they will feel. Yes, yes, yes. But you promised to be a very present help yes. in the time of trouble. Yes, Lord. But not only that, God, you promised to be nigh of those. Yes. Who would be of a broken heart? Yes, Lord. So, Father, shed your love around their lives. Yes, Lord. Hold them, dear God. Yes. But not only that, God, that that church that 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 has lost a member, a faithful member, one who would go on and and make their name proud. Yes, Father, give them the strength today. Father, if they're past the stands to to minister to a bereaved congregation, yes, Lord. Give them the strength. Yes, Lord. Give him the word, God, that is seasoned with salt, that he might comfort them oh, during this time. Yes, Lord. All of our friends, God, that, that, that are bereaved and, and, and heavy this month. Yes, Lord. Lighten the load. You said take your yoke upon you, for your yoke was easy. Yes, Lord. And your burden was light. Yes, Lord. You promised that if we cast it all I care upon you. Oh, you can care for us. Yes, so we thank you this day. We pray now, God, as we prepare to go into the word of the Lord, we pray that you would speak a word, God, that would heal our broken hearts. Yes, we might not have lost anyone, God, but, but, we, but we've been through something. Yes, and we need a word from you. Yes, speak, dear God. Yes, we thank you in Jesus' name. Yes, Father, let the dis courage be encouraged when they leave here. Yes, Let those that want to give up get, get some strength to hold on knowing that everything yes, will be alright. Yes, and Father, after this message is over, yes, after we can't pray no more, yes, after we can't sing no more, yes, we pray for a home in your kingdom yes, where the wicked will see some trouble and the weary be at rest. We thank you today. Bless Dr. Whitfield in the name of Jesus. Continue to strengthen them and heal them. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. Grab your Bibles. We're going to go right into the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, God. We are in the book of Philippians. We are taking a journey through the book of 
Philippians. I'm going to go down a little further in chapter 1 today. I'm going to read verses 12 through 14. When you have it, you can say Amen. 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 Philippians chapter 1, beginning with verse 12. It reads like this from the King James Version. But I would, ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. Yes, Lord. So that my bonds in Christ are manifest in all the palace and in all other places. And many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident by my bonds are much more bold to speak the word without fear. The NIV says, Now I want you to know, brothers, that what has happened to me has really served to advance the gospel. Amen. Amen. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. Mm -hmm. Because of my chains, most of the brothers in the Lord have been encouraged mm -hmm. to speak the word of God more courageously and fearlessly. Amen. You may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Find you a good neighbor somewhere. And look at him and say, neighbor. neighbor. The trouble, the trouble worked, worked for me. For me. Amen. That had to be the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> Tell somebody, say, neighbor. subject today, the trouble worked out for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. We as people don't always like to be favored with trouble. Mm -hmm. Amen. Y'all want to help me preach here? Right. Amen. 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 We don't always like to embrace Yes, Lord. In fact, many of us run from trouble. Right. Amen. When trouble knocks on our door, you know how you do when, when somebody's at the door, you don't really want them to, to know you home. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, Lord. Y'all don't do that to you. No. <laughs> Start peeping through the blinds. <laughs> Somebody call the phone with some bill collector. You don't want them to, 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 to know you home. You, you, you tell your child, tell them, hey, hey. Y'all don't do that, do you? No, no, no. Yes, you do. Hallelujah. Because the truth of the matter is, we, we don't always like to go through. Yes, sir. We don't like to, to, to embrace. Right. Amen. One thing you must understand doesn't matter if you're rich or you're poor. Amen. No matter if you're short or tall, skinny or pleasantly plump. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Try to be nice. No matter if you drive a Cadillac. Or a pinto. Amen. Amen. No matter if you got a million dollars and you ain't got two dimes to rub together. Amen. Doesn't matter if you live in a house on a hill or in the project. Amen. Doesn't matter if you use dollar bills at the grocery store or food stamps. Yes, Lord. You will not escape trouble. 
in order to get the oil out of an olive, yeah. the olive has to be crushed. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had somebody here with me today. In order to glory to God to get the oil out of an olive, it has to be crushed. Yeah. Glory to God. And when you plant a seed uh -huh. and you expect, glory to God, a rose bush to come out of it. Uh -huh. Well, what most people don't know about, glory to God, seeds is that seeds, glory to God, have a protective shell around them. Right. Glory to God. So when you plant the seed in the ground, if you don't put water on the seed, uh -huh. yeah. the casing on the seed will come off. Right. Yeah. So in other words, if you just put a seed in dirt, it ain't going to grow. Uh -huh. But sometimes you got to put some water on the seed.
church at Philippi was the only church that supported Paul without end while he was locked up. So when Paul writes to them, Paul said, I gotta tell y'all something. He said, when you're thinking about me, when you think about all the trouble I'm going through, when you think about how he locked me up behind bars, when you think about how he threw away the key, when you think about how they lied on me, when you think about all the conviction I'm facing, when you think about how I stood before Bernice and stood before King Agrippa, I just want to tell you that this trouble is working for me. To tell them because of how I've been locked up, people now believe that God is who He says He is. He said, I've been locked up behind bars. Nobody wanted to support me, nobody came to my aid. He said, But because of my bars, the gospel is being spread. Everybody now knows that there is a man from Galilee. Say it. Listen, I've been locked up. I've gone through the rough side. I've gone up the rough side of the mountain. He said, but don't worry. It's working for me. I'm going to tell somebody at New Mission this morning. Don't worry. It's working for you. I don't know what it is. And I don't know what it seemed like. But it's working for you. Just keep your hands in God's hands. And it's going to get better. Right. Right. He tells them what I'm going through. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Don't worry about these bonds. I'll be all right. Don't worry about this sickness. I'll be all right. Don't worry about this struggle. I'll be all right. Don't worry about that. I ain't got no money. I'll be all right. Don't worry about that. My gas tank is on E. I'll be all right. Because it's going to work for me. See, because one thing you must understand is that trouble might be down here. But one of these old days, there won't be no more trouble. There won't be no more sickness. Come on now. The Bible says that our light affliction is just so long. In other words, it ain't going to be like this always. We ain't going to always have to cry. We ain't going to always have to suffer. Gonna get better after a while. Keep your hands in God. Keep trusting in God. Keep believing in God. Cause I got news for you. Whatever he started.
situation, but you still got a good God. You might not have good money, but you still got a good God. May not have a good car, but you still got a good God. May not have a good job, but you still got a good God. May not have good health, but you still got a good God. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Anybody know God to be good? Lord. Just touch the Bible and we'll say amen. Amen. I don't know what you've been going through. But it's working. It's working. For you. It's working. Paul tells him, he says, y'all don't stop tripping. So don't worry about me. This right here is pushing uh, the gospel. All right, Isn't it amazing how one man is, is, is going through hell and high water, uh, but other people are prospering yeah. because of the trouble on, one man is going through. Yeah. You must understand that the things you're going through is going to help somebody else. Yeah. You see, you're crying right now, yeah. but if you don't go through it, you might not bring the other people out. Your life will be a testimony that if God did it for me, He would do the same. If He did it one time, He did it. Yes. Yes, sir. I am a living testimony. Could have been dead and gone. But the Lord Y'all don't have this wrong. Your life is a testimony yes. to somebody else. Yes. Somebody else is watching you. Yeah. And after all the pressure you've been through, mm -hmm. if you can still come to church and give God praise, y'all can see, see, see. See, people, people that know it's working for them don't come to church and act like they're cute and act like the, the way the world is taking them over. But, but people that know it's working for them say, I will bless the Lord in the world.
give God a praise.
Jesus. But God in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes Lord Jesus. Whatever the enemy meant to bad, turn it around. Right now, in the name of Jesus. For I Lay it in the midnight hour. Jesus will turn it around. Yes, Lord. The sickness that we've been facing. Yes, Lord. That doctor's report that's not good. Yes, we trust you. Yes, turn it around. Turn it around. For our good. Yes, Cancer yes, can't take us out. Yes, Diabetes can't take us out. Hallelujah. High blood. Yes, Lord. Can't take us out. Yes, Lord Jesus. This trouble. We don't know the, the, the exact destiny and the exact purpose that you have for our lives. But one thing is for sure. We know that all things yes, Lord. work together yes. for the good yes, Lord. of them that love the Lord. We love you today. Yes, Lord Jesus. Everything we've been praying for. Yes, Lord Jesus. Everything we've been asking for. Yes, Lord Jesus. We understand, God, that, that the trouble has only come. Yes, Lord Jesus. To shape us and mold us. Yes, Lord Jesus. Father, the children of Israel went through 40 years of trouble. Yes, Lord Jesus. In the wilderness. They went through 400 years of trouble in Egypt. Yes, Lord Jesus. 70 years of trouble in Babylon. Yes, Lord Jesus. But after it was all over, they entered into a land that was flowing with milk and honey. Yes, Lord. The trouble that we're going through, if we just keep holding on, the land of milk and honey shall be ours. Yes, Lord. We'll be healed. We'll be delivered. We'll be set free. So this day, God, we ask you to give us the strength yes, to hold on. Yes, Even when the storm of the life are raging, give us the strength yes, to hold on yes, to your unchanging hands. Yes, Lord Jesus. No, God, and you will make yes, everything yes, all right. Yes, we thank you this day. Yes, we give you glory, yes, honor, yes, and praise. Yes, in Jesus' name. Jesus. Come on, say amen. amen. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Tell somebody to say it's working for me. It's working for me. It's working for me.
you have enjoyed the service as much as I have. Yes, Lord. We want to thank the first time visitors. We hope you come next Sunday and we'll see you in the place again. All minds and hearts are clear. May the grace of God and His Holy Communion the restroom and divide him more now and forevermore. And all the children of God did say.